can a sales agent truly be honest when really from the outset they're rewarded for not being honest? Three agents go and do an appraisal of somebody's house and they'll each give an opinion on value. The more diligent ones will actually go away and research that and be really, really careful and mindful in how they put together their justification. And the less will just press a button or just put their thumb to the air. At the end of the day, that owner is gonna choose which agent to sell their home. And whether they like it or not, whether they truly do it or not, they really can't help but be influenced by the price that the agent has told them they can probably get for their property. I remember this issue as a sales agent. You do an appraisal, you're going to deliver a well-researched opinion on what the property should sell for. But if another agent had given them a higher expectation, they lean towards that agent because they have more faith in what their property was worth. They believe in my property more. They like it more than you do. Liking it and believing in it and giving them an inflated expectation very rarely actually are the ingredients that deliver on that expectation. But it doesn't matter because by the time they sign the agency agreement with the agent who sort of like them a little bit, it's too late. They're in an exclusive agency agreement, often they're in an auction campaign. And once you've started that process, there's not really any backing out of it without some level of cost. And I'm not talking about what money you might've already spent on advertising. I'm talking about the fact you've actually started exposing your property. You've got one shot to get it right. But vendors play a part in this. So the agent who's honest goes along to this appraisal and then misses out on the business because they didn't lie enough, they didn't flatter enough. And then the agent got the business, they're the one driving the really flash car. So what happens to the honest agent? What do they start doing? Well, they've got to feed their kids, right? So they're gonna start playing the game. And then the whole thing starts, right? They've got to play the game in order to get the listing. The owner says, no, I'm gonna go with the agent that tells me the realistic price. I'm not gonna be swayed by flattery, but they are flat swayed by flattery. That's most common. It doesn't matter how much we don't want to, we think we're really beyond it and above it, most of us fall for it. So we fall for the flattery, we choose the less capable agent or the less honest agent. Then the honest agent starts actually shaping up and actually starts inflating price expectations in order to get the business. Then they turn around, they've got to start delivering this to the marketplace. And then they've got to work through, well, how do I price this? And how do I quote this? So that buyers don't think I've overpriced it. Buyers don't think it's too expensive and I want buyers to come in and fight over it. Whether it's private treaty and they're making offers or whether it's auction. How do I manage that? So then they've got to underquote a bit and they know that the vendor's expectation are higher, but they can get the competition to meet the vendor's expectation. The whole thing is a game. And what I'm trying to say here is that agents get blamed for the lot of it and they do play a part, let's face it. However, we all play a part of this. Vendors play a part, buyers play a part. I'm making this video along with some others because I really think it's time for more truth, trust and transparency in the property industry. And if you're with me, Make a comment, join the conversation.